I'm going to turn some of the internal line into baseline. I will use this edit pattern tool, click on the center line and then I'm going to press on shift. My key selects this internal line here, right click and then convert to baseline. After that, I will lock that baseline. Next, we want to sew this pleat here. I will use this pleats fold here to fold the pleat. Simply click one here to start and then click twice here. And by default, I have nine pleats. And we want to change number of internal line per pleat to three. Next, leave everything as is and click on OK. After that, I'm going to sew the pleat. I will use free sewing tool. Simply go to the free sewing tool, click on it to select, and then click one right here to start. Hover the mouse to the right, click once again to end, and simply click on that center point again and then hover the mouse to the left and click once again to end. We want to sew another line right here. Simply click right here to start, hover the mouse to the right, click one here to end, and click one on that center points again, and then hover the mouse to the left, and then click one to end. Next, I will change the sewing to turn. I will go to Edit Sewing Tool, my key selects this sewing, then go to Property Editor, and then change that to turn. Now we are going to sew this placket onto the sleeve. I will change the tool to segment sewing tool here and then begin sewing from this far end and then sew to this line here and then click one right here, sew to here. All right, so next let me zoom out here. I want to bring this piece of pattern down. To do that, I will switch my tool to the transform pattern tool and then click on that pattern piece, right click and we want to select super impose over. All right, so next I'm going to switch my tool to edit pattern tool and I'm going to click one on the line right here and then come to property editor and check this full rendering box to turn on. Then I'm going to simulate one more time here to see the effects. After that, we want to sew the sleeve cuff to the sleeve. To sew the sleeve cuff, I'm going to use this free sewing tool. Once again, click on it to select. And before we sew the sleeve cuffs, I want to point out some guideline here. So if I scroll it down, by the way, guys, I will have this link listed below under the video description, okay? So to the last image here, I'm going to click on it. And to sew the sleeve cuff, it's a little bit tricky, guys. You have to follow this step, okay? So we begin sewing from number one, two, three, four, and five. And here another link for the practice file, I have it in a really, really good price for you to purchase and you can practice. And not only have the practice file, I also have a complete file where you can compare your assignment to the complete file, okay? All right, so now let's get back to Chloe. So right here, I'm going to begin sewing from left to right. By the way, guys, following the arrow, okay? Then I'm going to press on the shift key here and then click on the placket, and then click on it to finish, then sew to number three here. I'm going to click right here and then sew to here, and then number four. Finally, number five. After that, I'm going to switch my tool to transform pattern tool, and let's turn on this show arrangement point. We want to place the cuff onto the avatar. Simply click on that cuff right there and then click one right here to place the cuff. Okay, somehow we get all twisted. No worry guys, I'm going to bring it back over here and then I'm going to click on this cuff and then bring it over here. Then zoom in, I'm going to click one right there again to place the cuff onto the avatar. Next, I will click on the simulation icon to simulate. That is. After that, we want to sew the button and the buttonhole onto the sleeve cuff. To do that, I'm going to zoom in. So I will select the button tool here in this 3D window, click on it to select. Then I'm going to zoom in to this button here and I'm going to click twice to place the button. Then I will go to object browser and click on that default button right there. We want to change the button shape as well as the button size. So the button shape here, I'm going to click on this drop down menu and scroll it down until I see this button right here. After that, the size, I'm going to change that to 1.5. Then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. And next, I will come over here and then click on this 
select slash move button tool here and I'm going to click on that button right click then we want to select copy then I'm going to zoom out and bring over here next I'm going to right click and then select paste after that I'm going to click one right here to place that and click once again to select right click and this time I will select convert to button hole and after that we want to change the shape as well as the size of the buttonhole simply come over here to this object browser and click on that buttonhole right there and click on that buttonhole to select then come down here to the property editor we want to change the shape to this one right here then i'm going to change the size to 1.8 and then press return enter on the keyboard to confirm after that we want to fasten the button to fasten the button guy this is once again a little bit tricky and we have to follow the stuff to make it work okay so i will select this internal polygon slash line tool and i'm going to zoom in here and anywhere around this area here as long as a little bit further from this buttonhole you're fine simply click one to place press on shift and then click twice to end after that i will change the tool to edit pattern tool and then place the mouse over that line right click and we want to select cut and sew then i'm going to strengthen that cuff again we want to bring this buttonhole above this button before it works i'm going to click one and then bring it over here and then let rotate okay that looks about right now i'm going to use this fasten button tool here click on it to select we want to begin click one on the button and then click one on the buttonhole next i'm going to click on the simulation icon to simulate there it is now click on once again to stop and switch the tool to transform pattern tool so we can see better so now we have two options here okay we can repeat the stuff to apply the button and the buttonhole or we can make a copy so i'm going to select making copy because it is easier and faster all right so we are on the right side of the sleeve here so we want to remove the left side of the pattern i'm going to mark key select these left side of the pattern and then delete them okay and i'm going to press on number two here to see the front view of the avatar next i'm going to mark key select that pattern piece right there right click and then select symmetric pattern with sewing and i'm going to zoom in a little and click one right there to place the pattern okay and after that i'm going to use the segment sewing tool to sew the center back as well as the center front together and i'm going to strengthen the pattern once again before i simulate and this time you have to select and strengthen and then select strengthen once again and i'm going to simulate here to see the effects even though we have symmetric copy but the button not fastened we have to refasten the button simply click on that piece and then bring it above that button right there okay and after that use this fasten button again simply click one on the button and then click one on the buttonhole to close after that i'm going to come over here click on this simulation icon to simulate and click once again to stop let's switch the tool to transform pattern tool so we can see it better now we are going to simply merge this pattern together i will use this edit pattern tool click one to start and then click one right here right click and then select merge and i want to remove this point as well we don't need them after that i'm going to simulate one more time in this case i'm going to hide the avatar here so next we want to give this sleeve cuff a realistic look to do so we want to apply some top stitches as well as creating the facing for the cuff first of all let me unstrengthen the pattern so we get to see the effects onto the garment let begin by applying the top stitch first to do so i will come over here to this top stitch tool and i'm going to select three top stitch here i will begin click one right here and then hover the mouse up here and click once again to end the top stitch so i'm going to jump over here to this object browser click on that default top stitch then i'm going to first name that placket 
one. By the way, I want to change this color of the placket and the sleeve cuff to white. To do so, I will come over here to Object Browser, click on that fabric right there and click on the fabric. And then come down here, click on the color swatch, then come over here to simply click and slide to somewhat white-ish and then click on Apply and Close. Let's get back to the top stitches. I will select this Edit Top Stitch tool here and then click on that top stitch and let's change the color on a little bit darker here and then click on apply and close next we want to make two more copy of that top stitches first select that top stitch and then click on copy and i'm going to name this placket too that i will make another copy and this time i'm going to name that cuff placket two here i'm going to click on that to select then come to the property editor i want to change that to both and then i want to change the offset here to zero then i'm going to zoom in here instead of using free top stitch i will use the segment top stitch and simply click one to place and then click one right here to place the second top stitch next we want to apply the top stitch onto the cuff to do that i will select the cuff top stitch then come down here i'm going to change this number of line to two and as well as the face to both so after that i'm going to switch the tool to free top stitch here and um, let's begin clicking one right here hover the mouse around it and then click once again on there to end and i can see right here we just create these perfect top stitches onto the cuff and the placket so to create facing i will switch the tool to transform pattern tool here and then click one on this cuff and press on shift and click on this one right here right click and this time i will select layer clone under and click one right here to place the facing before i'm going to simulate i will strengthen the pattern once again and press on the spacebar to simulate and press on once again to stop the simulation okay so we have an issue here we have the fabric inside out we want to flip that to be outside out to do so i will select the pattern right here press on shift and click on the second pattern and then come over here to this 3d window hover the mouse over that facing right click and then we want to select flip normal there it is. I'm going to simulate once again to see the effect. Last but not least, we want to change the particle distance to 10. And I'm going to unstrengthen here. And there you go. After that, I will come over here and click on the high quality render to see the silhouette of the garment. Okay, there you have a design new star. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Included Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching guys!